Hello, my name is Thor Giddings, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect here at AWS. And today I wanted to talk to you about using client-side encryption for our Amazon S3 Simple Storage Service. Customers may want to use client-side encryption to not only specify a specific key for each of their customers or different systems, but also to use envelope encryption to encrypt the data on the fly in transit. The good news is that most of the heavy lifting has already been done for you. Let's take a look. Here's my development environment. I'm using the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio, and you can see that on the left side of the screen. Although it is not required, it makes building on AWS and interacting with AWS resources and services easy without needing to navigate outside of Visual Studio. I have also created a user profile that links to my AWS account and my specific permission set. With AWS, every resource and service is actually an API. Whether you are using the web console, command line interface, PowerShell, or development SDKs, they all call the same underlying APIs. And the great news for .NET developers is that AWS creates NuGet packages for all of their APIs, making it very easy to interact with AWS as a .NET developer. So I've created a .NET console program and have added the following NuGet packages. We have the AWS SDK S3 for interacting with the S3 service and the AWS SDK key management service NuGet package for interacting with the key management service for things like selecting or creating keys. So in my code, you will see I first create a reference to the Amazon key management service client specifying which region I want to use. I then call a helper function to select the key I want to use. At this point, if you wanted to use a different master key for different customers in a multi-tenant system, or maybe a different master key for each system, you could use your own custom logic for key selection. A key thing to remember is that S3 will actually create a data key for each object. So you're not encrypting directly with the master key. You're creating a data key that is then encrypted with the master key. So if a data key was compromised, it would only compromise a single object. So once I have the key ID, I then create encryption materials for the crypto configuration object. This tells the Amazon S3 encryption client which master key I want to use. Then I create a new Amazon S3 encryption client specifying both the region and the encryption materials that I want to use. Note, the S3 encryption client is slightly different than using the standard S3 client in that it takes care of all the undifferentiated heavy lifting of setting up the object data key and envelope encryption for you and then setting the object metadata appropriately. So now it's as simple as filling out the put object request by specifying the bucket name, the key, which is where the file will be put inside the bucket, and the file path, which is the local path to the file. Then I do the put. Once the method completes, the file has been encrypted and stored inside the bucket. So we have a breakpoint right after the put. So let's run the code up until the breakpoint. This will put the object encrypted into the S3 bucket. And now we can use the AWS toolkit for Visual Studio to browse the object in the bucket and we can actually download the file directly. So now if I download it into this folder, it'll download but when I try to open it it won't let me open it because I didn't actually try to decrypt it I just tried to open it so if I take a look at the file I try to open it and I can't now if instead I actually use the s3 encryption client 
that I've already created. And I do a get request for the object. And then I'm going to save it to that same location. So I run the rest of the code. So it wrote it to mp3's 986.zip. If I browse to that folder, this file I'll be able to open. And I can open the file without an issue. Additionally, if I use the AWS Toolkit, I can take a look at the file that's stored on S3 and I can see that the S3 encryption client has actually added all of the necessary uh, object metadata to the file to do the proper handling of the encryption. And it's just that easy. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and have found it informative. Thanks for watching. Thank you.